Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we are going to be helping you connect to the Waze app on your phone and in your car. So we posted a tutorial on how to set up and sync your Waze app and a lot of you guys put in the comments that you're having trouble with it connecting or the GPS services or the location, um, finding it and the maps working. So I thought I'd just go through some troubleshooting steps that will help you get your ways back up and running. So let's get started. I have my Android phone here. It's important to note that if you have an iPhone, some of these little tips might be a little different, but it's generally the same information here. So. Um, first thing you need to do is make sure you're connected to your Android Auto or your Apple CarPlay. And if you're having trouble connecting to that, we have full tutorials on how to do that. I'm gonna put that in the description below. Typically, if you're having trouble connecting to the Waze map or it's not connecting, generally a restart of your phone is your first step. Um, that will solve most minor bugs and issues is restarting your phone. If you've restarted your phone, and it still hasn't connected or the maps are still not showing up on your Waze app, probably your next troubleshoot would be putting your phone in airplane mode and toggling it on airplane mode, leaving it in airplane mode for about three to five seconds and then turning it back on. That should fix most connection issues. If you're still having trouble connecting, you probably have an issue with your location. So maybe your location permissions do not allow the Waze app to access your GPS. And how we're gonna fix that, I'm gonna put my phone up on the screen here. I'm gonna go into my settings and you just need to go into your apps here and adjust your location settings. So here you can see Waze is my most recent app and here's how I've put my permissions for the location. So permissions, location, and then you either want to allow it only while using the app or you want to allow it all the time. If it's not syncing to your GPS, you probably hit don't, al don't allow and it's not allowing your phone to access the GPS's location. You also want to have this on, use precise location. So you want it to get you an exact location using your GPS. So hopefully that gets you back up and running. Now, if you're still having issues and it's not running, you can go into your app here, back where I was here, go to your settings, go to apps, hit ways. And another solution would be uninstalling and reinstalling the Waze app. So you just need to hit uninstall and hit okay. I'm not gonna do this just for the purpose to speed along this video, but uninstall the app, reinstall the app, re-log on using your email, and it should fix a lot of minor issues. Another solution you might have is clearing your storage cache. So here we go again. We go into our phone settings. We go apps, cl click ways, and then here where it says storage and cache, we're gonna click that and we're gonna clear our storage. And that's just gonna delete all your past history. We're gonna clear our cache and that's basically gonna have ways start fresh for you and the storage won't be full so very handy you can do that that should fix basically all your connection issues with ways and then once you have that set up just go back into your phone find your ways app which i'm going to show you here open allow all the notifications and then it's going to update I'm just going to click continue as guest and there it says preparing navigation and we're up and running with our location. So very easy, couple common troubleshooting tips for you guys. If this helped you guys get your ways up and running, hit that thumbs up button. Very simple, airplane mode, restart your phone, uninstall, reinstall the app, clear your storage, clear your cache, set on your GPS location settings, lots of quick fixes and you can get your ways back up and running, guys. So if you're still having trouble, comment in the comment section below, and I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. We'll see you in the next video.